Good morning. So, uh, sorry Rockhounds, it's been a while since you've heard from me. I'm aware of that. Um, we're currently cruising along towards Ottawa and then north uh, into the Gatineau Hills. Um, it's an area where we've got the McLashen Mine and a number of other really good mines, Leduc Mine, all sorts of amazing Rockhound locations. Um, McLashen Mine, mined in the early 1900s in a pyroxenite. Uh, it was mined mainly for mica and phosphates. Um, in particular, uh, there, are, there are many other minerals in this mine. It's just to the side of a, a small road right near the Leduc mine. You can find, uh, you know, diopside, tourmaline, tiny pink zircons, uh, scaplite, uh, grey-green pyroxenites. Just a wealth of minerals just scattered here. Deepest pit, probably around 60 feet. Um, it's definitely an area that has some major potential. Uh, as far as the location, it overlooks uh, Wakefield Lake. Uh, you can find specifics in Anne Sabina's book. It's called uh, Rocks and Minerals for the Collector, Hull Manawaki version, and it'll give you very explicit directions to get there. Anyway, um, in terms of the geology of the, the Gatineau Hills, the, the hills themselves sit above the Ottawa Bonacher Graben, and on the, I guess you would say, the northern side of the Graben is the Erdley Escarpment, which was formed by the more northerly of the faults. And this is typically the, the actual Gatineau Hills or the Precambrian Rock, Precambrian era rock, whereas down in the uh, lowlands um, within the, the Graben itself, you're not likely to find very much. Pits all along the side of the hill. Uh, it's another one of these spots that's really worth a bit of time. You've got huge piles of rubble. So you've got the amber mica, um, and also of particular excitement to me is the uh, radiating spines of blue tourmaline. Um, I'll bring this uh, particular mine to you as a, as a special, not today, but sometime in the near future on my return trip uh, to the Leduc mine. Mm, pretty deep, uh, significant diggings here. Huge trench. We're about uh, 20 meters off the road. This is in itself another whole day event in the Glashen mine. So there are just shards of this bluish green apatite everywhere. Look, I found a crystal of some type there. Um, you can see the pyroxenite right there. Um, this is a very, very, another excellent, excellent spot to find minerals. There's your bluish green appetite. Lots and lots of it. Some of it's pretty transparent. Unusual for Ontario because in Ontario it's green. This pretty well know its appetite by looking at that little termination. So there's all your kind of square edged pyroxenites. You can see that, eh? Like that's, you know, so you're obviously going to be finding scapolite and what have you. This is a full day experience, this mine in itself. It's quite large. It's all along the hillside. Um, and of course the scenery is just phenomenal. So from the McGlashan property I'm finding two types of appetite. There's this green variety and there's this greenish blue variety of appetite. And of course from the Leduc mine you've got tourmaline. So how do you tell the difference? Uh, well the tourmaline is always going to be striated. You can see the striations along the prisms. See the striations there. Right? Uh, tourmaline generally speaking has a roughly triangular bowed out on its faces cross-section and the tourmaline has a, a very granular cross-section it breaks in a granular manner whereby appetite breaks in little blocks often a lot smaller than that it has a very lustrous face you can see the um, no I wouldn't say very lustrous but it's smooth uh, you'd more call it maybe a waxy lustrous um, a waxy luster and uh, I guess those are your main kind of telling points, right? So, I mean, at the McGlashan property, it claims to have blue radiating tourmaline. I haven't seen it yet, but when I turned up, I found all these little chips, little blocks. You know right away it's appetite, and of course I find this greenish variety. Um, not to be confused, of course, with the prisms of tourmaline. 